my name is Elizabeth Beisel. I'm a three-time Olympian and a two-time Olympic medalist for Team USA. And now I do clinics across the country and helping kids get better at swimming and talking about water safety, which I'm, we're gonna talk about right now. Um, but yeah, swimming is who I am. It's what I do, it's what I love, and I'm just happy to be here. Awesome, and why are you here today? So we're doing a clinic here at Kennett Area YMCA. Um, the Burke family has actually become basically my own family. <laughs> I did a clinic for them here back in 2014. And so I've known them for Gosh. seven years. So I've been coming back. Um, I try to come back at least every other year. Yeah. Um, and especially now with COVID, it makes it even better and sweeter that I can actually be here. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So as you probably know, May is Water Safety Month. Yep. Uh, I'm sure that you know every single year that that comes up. Uh, we like to feature tips for the community to stay safer around water um, at home and also at the Y. So why is learning about how to stay safe in the water and around the water important to you? Yeah, I mean, for me, swimming is the only sport that can save your life. It is a skill as well as a sport. So I think introducing kids and adults, it doesn't matter what age you are, to the water as soon as you can. You know, I was in the water at six months old, not to become an Olympic swimmer, but to become safe around the water. You know, I grew up in Rhode Island, which is the ocean state. So I was going to the beaches, you guys in Pennsylvania, you have beaches, you have lakes, you have rivers, whatever body of water that it is that you like to go to, you have to know how to swim in order to be there safely. Otherwise, something may happen and you may not be prepared and it's something that's preventable. Right, so. right. so I've never officially been taught how to swim, but I can survive in the water and maybe do a basic stroke. But do I need to learn about water safety? Yes, everybody does, a hundred percent. It doesn't matter who you are. You need to learn about water safety because even at the highest level at the Olympics, we have lifeguards on deck. You know, it does not matter who you are. The water does not discriminate against your age, how skilled you are. So it's something that every single person needs to know and educate themselves on so that not just you are safe around the water, but everybody that you're held accountable for that day or whoever you love also knows about the safety. Awesome. Um, so at the YMCA, we do have swimming lessons that start as early as six months and all the way through adult. Uh, we also feature a free splash program, which focuses on safety around water for community kids that can't afford swimming lessons. Uh, we actually have one coming up in June, but this is paid for by donations from the community and financial assistance. So what are a few, even like top three water safety tips that everybody should know? Yeah, I, I think, you know, it's simple. You need to have eyes on everybody at all times. I think that's the number one rule. You need to know, you know, drowning is not an act of splashing the water and screaming. Drowning is silent. You need to know how to look for it. You need to know what the symptoms are. So I think just really having a, a eyes on everybody, making sure that everybody there is comfortable, or if they're not, you take them on your own and you teach them how to swim one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and just being in that safe environment, it, it means so much. You know. If you're at a pool area, make sure that there is a fence around it. If it's outside, you know, if you go inside really quickly, make sure somebody has eyes on your kids or whoever it is. So I think it really is just keeping an eye on people, knowing what it's like to, you know, help somebody drown, know how to save somebody. Um, it's those simple things that you don't really think about because when you're going out on the boat or you're going to the beach, you're there for a fun time. You know, you're not there to look over somebody just in case they drown, but unfortunately that's, when, when you turn your head, that's when the bad things start to happen. Right. So I like your point about uh, not discriminating against anybody. Like right, the, always, yeah, the yeah. water can take anybody. Right. And I think that's the most important thing to know is, you know, even if you are an adult and you haven't learned to swim, it is not too late. It is never too late to learn how to swim. So I encourage everybody, even though you may feel weird or different, like that's okay. Don't give in to that. Learn how to swim. It's gonna make you a better person going to make your children safer and you know the statistics show if your parents know how to swim you're going to know how to swim and so, it's great exercise and it's great exercise <laughs> it's fun and who doesn't want to go to the beach or like be on the lake you know enjoying the water because it is such a community like thing to do you know you want to do it with your family you want to do it with your friends and you want to do it safely as well awesome so we appreciate you answering some questions for us um anything else you want to add or share with the community about um learning how to swim I learned how to swim at the YMCA at six months old, and that's why I'm here. You know, the YMCA was my first team, and they really instilled the love for the water that they have. And so I encourage anybody and everybody, age six months old to age 80 years old, or however old you are, you know, get into the water, get to the YMCA. It's gonna change your life, it's gonna change your loved one's life, and it might save your life. Awesome, thank you so much, Elizabeth. We You're welcome. It.